Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. Comedy in movies is a very interesting thing. It requires both timing and context. It requires the joke to be set up. It knock, knock. Hi. Who's no, there? Did that ruin? Did that ruin your intro? Uh, I kind of broke the tone that I was trying to. I was trying to do something serious here. Oh. 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 Okay. Get back to it. You're fine. Oh. You're fine. Okay. And there you have it. Um, tone is such an important thing to establish in your story that when it gets disrupted out of the blue, it can completely change the way the video or movie or story progresses. So let's get into the Marvel humor what we like to call the marvelous humor, and why it works in some instances, and why it's being overused in so many others. I'm so freaking sick of the humor. Oh my God. It's, and it's infecting everything. Oh, it's, it is, it is. And, uh, I, I don't know where it comes from. I think it comes from the Avengers, but it might have been well, there before that. There, there's a lot of conversation in in a lot of uh, of, of film reviews and, and things like that. That some movies just miss the tone of a joke, or or they want to be too funny. And I will say, I, I this, I, I think it came from Marvel, and I know where this the, the marvelous humor came from, but it was executed really well, and that was the first Avengers movie. Okay, so I think I kind of thought yeah. that was its starting point. Well, and it's you know for me it's the difference between and I've not seen a lot of the Marvel films beyond right. the first Avengers. Saw so Winter Soldier, but that was such a serious movie. It didn't well, come yeah, up but very but much. it's not even that. I mean, the, but you know when um, you know Loki is you know. I am a god, and Hulk grabs him, and boom, 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 boom. Well, Puny god. And was, he's the, well, it was so funny. And it's look, just like... Look at, I always go back to, uh, you know, I always go back to two, of the, and they came out in the same year as each other, but the first Iron Man, so just Iron Man, yeah. and then The Dark Knight. Yeah. Both of those movies had uh, jokes in them. You know, for instance, when, uh, um, w when uh, Bruce Wayne's going to go turn himself in in The Dark Knight, and... Um, he tells uh, Alfred that he's going to go do this and they're walking out and he goes and he goes he goes well I just don't want to get and Alfred says something like I don't want to be your accomplice and he goes accomplice I'm going to tell him this whole life this, this, this is all your and, idea and, 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 and so it's a yeah. funny moment it it's doesn't a, destroy but, the tone it's very it's just but it's, it's a, levity for the sake of, but it's a of very, you know but it's but also these are two I mean you know Alfred essentially raised Bruce right yeah and so it's this kind of camaraderie sort of thing yeah. right where Bruce Wayne is sitting there going, accomplice, I'm going to tell him the whole thing was your idea. Yeah. And it's just, but it's done, it, and it's not breaking the tone, because the tone is, the lights are shutting off as they walk out of, you know, the yeah. command center, the Bat Cave. Yeah. And, um... Well, Bat cargo container? I, I said, that's, well, yeah. But essentially, yeah, Bat Cave, yeah. Yeah, it's the, um... But, you know... That works because it is two characters and they stay, you know, totally yeah. consistent amongst the character. Mm -hmm. It's not all of a sudden, you know, coming out of left field to do just something that's funny for the sake of being funny. It's these are two characters and it's a moment of levity that shows the camaraderie of yeah. Alfred and Bruce. And then and it's actually character building, not character. Yeah, exactly. Reason. And in in uh, destroying. Yeah. And anyway. then in you know you get. Uh, in Iron Man, when he's gonna try, you know, the uh, the, the thrusters. Oh, and he's for the first there. time. Well, no, 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 not even yeah. that scene. Oh. But he's like, okay, going at ten percent, and it shoots him into the wall behind him. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh, and you're like, oh, and, and it was really funny, but it didn't betray the moment because it was a learning curve, and it. And it was also, but you know, you said, well, let's look at the setup of the joke and then the punchline because that's yeah. how all jokes are set up. Yeah. Is. The setup is you have Robert Downey Jr., mm -hmm. who's, you know, kind of a dry, witty sort of character anyway, right? Mm -hmm. You know, that's how he's playing Tony Stark. Yeah. And so he puts on the, you know, the boots and he goes, all right, trying thrusters at 10% and it thrusts him back into the wall. But, you know, how many times have we done something similar on freaking roller skates? Yeah. And it's relatable. It's humorous. And it ties into what's going on. It's a learning curve. It's new technology. And it's played for a bit of a light moment because guess what? It's a light movie. For the most part. Yeah, and, and a, a part of the reason I kind of got away from a lot of 
a lot of just the superhero stuff in a, after um, the first Avengers. And, well, it's kind of closer to the second Avengers. Is the the humor just got too much? Like, don't get me wrong, Thor Ragnarok, really good movie, but the whole thing's a freaking joke. The one thing that like the joke that r- almost ruined the movie for me was when uh, Bruce Banner's talking to Valkyrie. And he goes, "You want to know who I am?" And he jumps out of the out of the ship on on onto the, the Rainbow Bridge, and he lands I'm like, uh, and I'm like, "That's so dumb because that would have been it, such, such a, a epic, not uh, only the Hulk a, you know, lands and you like, you Hulk's out. It's a power moment. Yeah, but and instead, just, but you know the Hulk's coming anyway. Instead, you play it for a cheap laugh. And I, well, I mean, and then look what they did with you know the new Star Wars movie. We'll get there, but we'll you know, get there to yeah. really hold on, pump the brakes. Yeah. Um, to really kind of, you know, give you an example of what this really bugs me about is that, you know, let's take uh, Lord of the Rings, right? Right. And Aragorn is journeying into the kingdom of the dead. And Gimli's kind of providing a little bit of that comic relief because he's scared. Yeah, and elves yeah. go underground and a dwarf, dwarf dare not. not. <laughs> yeah. But it's character based. But if it was done the Marvel way, you'd have the king of the dead who enters my domain. And Aragorn will also put on this cocky smile and be like, Jehovah's Witness, have you heard the Lord and Savior? Yeah, 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 right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's this really tongue-in-cheek. And it can, because you've set up, you know, Gimli, an elf go underground with a dwarf dare not. Even Gimli is not happy about this. No, and it was... And, and Aragorn is being stoic Aragorn. For all of a sudden, and keep in mind, we would not have seen him crack wise yet, either. No. He would all of a sudden just be like, yeah, have you, you know, it's uh, this, just well, this... Or, or this idea Johnny, of a world... Like, Jack Sparrow with, almost or, moment, or, yeah. Or seeing what, well, and that's something that is just with way too much of. And that was another thing that they did. After, I mean, the first Pirates movie was gold. Well, And then because, after that, this Jack uh, Sparrow, especially what was it? There was the fourth one? Uh, or no, it wasn't the fourth one. Whichever one they start dragging a bank through town, I that's think four. that... No, that's five. That was five. That that's was five. five. Yeah. And you just look at this whole thing. And you're just like, guys, and you've, Jack you've Sparrow is just so over the, the top. top anymore. That's and a like, different issue because that's not a tonal break. Jack Sparrow's always been kind of an over the top character. The well, problem, no. Look at the first movie and though. I, is in the first and movie, I, he was very different. I don't disagree, but what I'm saying is, is that when I think of the marvelous humor and its overuse, it's not just a badly done joke or over the top i'm saying it completely is incongruous with the scenes prior yeah that whole bank high scene is over the top and unbelievable anyway so the bank being you just kind of go really guys as opposed to all of a sudden being like oh wait we're laughing now um and so that's why i use the the paths of the dead you know ref uh, analogy here to say what you know how many people would have been like whoa whoa, 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 why is all of a sudden aragorn you know cracking jokes and you know but you look at the first Pirates movies, you know, one, two, and three, mm-hmm. who is the lead character? Who is the main character, our protagonist? It was Will Turner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who was our protagonist there on? It was Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow is a fantastic supporting character. but He's a, a great w- funny man, but you need but a straight man But you need a straight man, him. and Will Turner was that. Well, and it, and it seems like anymore, like, I, I will say this, I will say this, and people, people don't like me for this. I, Endgame had some really good moments, but... There were so many jokes in Endgame that I guess. just compl- were defeating to the character. The entire character of Thor was just a oh, joke. Where, he, where he's overweight and playing Fortnite on a couch yelling at people over yeah. headset? Yeah. yeah. Well, there, I, I heard mean, about that. that. that I mean, yeah, I heard about just that. Was, there, there's so much. I think, you know, Deadpool, the first one, was really good. The second one, again, they just humor for humor's sake. and But again, it's a it's a humorous movie. So again, it's just a, uh, an example of going too far. Not that tone-breaking humor. And, you know, to give more examples, let's get into the new Star Wars. Yay. We might be here a minute. Um, this is why we have timers, everybody. Yes. So well, And maybe I'm just confusing. Maybe I, I will say this. Maybe me just confusing the marvelous humor with just other humor is the fact that it's just so well, overdone you're confu- now in so many and, movies and, that and it's, just, it's hard but, to parse out. But what you are arguing with is overdone slapstick versus the, the well, no, Marvel brand well, no, humor. Well, no, I'm arguing with the Marvel brand humor, but maybe it's just that the Marvel brand humor was just done so freaking much. It's just hard to kind of tell uh, the difference much. for me anymore. And maybe that's just my own fault. Yeah, and I can still tell the difference because... Critical. Here's, you know, okay, so let's use the, uh, let's use Pirates of the Caribbean again, right? 
Nope, so, I said Star Wars. You gotta go Star Wars. I will. This will tie in. Okay. All right. So, you know, you have two very serious scenes, right? It's the, you know, undead pirates, you know, and they're, you've got that really cool shot of them skeletonized walking across the yeah. beach. Then you still have your comic relief of those two bozo pirates. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah one keeps losing his eye. keeps it light. Yes. And then you have the, you know, that's funny. Then you have the, you know, the same characters who always seem to be coming back and they just get more and more ridiculous, right? Mm-hmm. And at one, you know, I, I love it when they have them uh, dressed up in uh, Elizabeth's old clothes, and they're just sitting there. And finally, one turns around, and he turns off skeleton, and they go fire. <laughs> it's, oh, it wasn't Elizabeth's clothes; it was the clothes that were in the. Uh, um, oh, is that? Oh, in the. Yeah. Okay. In, in the, uh, but, the the. Uh, but anyway, Ilo de Muerta. Okay, but still, you know. It's funny, and you know, you just watch it get more and more. They have to top themselves. It keeps getting more over the top, more outlandish. That's different yeah. in my book to what the marvelous humor is. That marvelous humor is that quick cut across. You know, almost like they're kind of speaking aside. You know, and they say something funny. For example, uh, you know when uh, you know in Force Awakens when uh, Poe Dameron is first introduced and we're first introduced to Kylo Ren. Right? Mm-hmm. We just watch Kylo Ren. You know. Killed the old man, Max von Sydow. I don't know his name in the movie yeah. anymore. Um, I should have looked that up, and yeah, I apologize. Yeah, you're fine. Um, I don't care about Disney Star Wars anymore. I, and, I it's, just, I just... and so Poe is obviously very upset and even exposes himself and gets captured in order to... Because he's so incensed by this murder. Right. And then Kylo comes up, and you know he's got the deep pseudo-Vader yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah. And Poe goes, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to hear you with that mask. And it's just, you just were so incensed about this murder, and now you're cracking a joke? Or, you know, you leave on a literal cliffhanger, Luke turns around, mm-hmm. and Ray's holding out the lightsaber. Yeah. Flash forward to when we resume that scene in The Last Jedi, and Luke just takes it and... I get, you know, and I don't agree with where they went with Luke in The Last Jedi, but you did it for a cheap laugh. You did it, you could have had the same characterization and maintained the tone of the scene if he had just handed it back to her. He takes the lightsaber, he looks at it, and then just hands it back and walks away. Mm-hmm. Same characterization, but you don't break the tone. No, and and that's and I and I guess that that's just one thing that I I have I I've just I've seen I've seen so much of this idea of humor. The um, Suicide Squad tried doing a lot of that. I've not seen that. That so. was horrible. I regret seeing it. I have seen one where uh, Margot Robbie's uh, Harley Quinn. And they have her very um, suggestive, we'll say, throughout the entire movie. And apparently, right. she like changes clothes, and then she looks back up, and all the guys. Are no, 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 no. That, that's what? no, yeah. that's that's Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've seen that scene. Oh, you've seen yeah. that? Yeah, no, because I've seen it referenced. Uh, in other but critiques, and it, but. yeah, and it's it's you know we've gotten to this place, but where, it's done for a cheap laugh, and it's very. In, I, I assume it's very inconsistent for the tone because I see it just, criticized a lot. <laughs> uh, that whole uh, that movie just didn't know what its tone was, and yeah. so because it didn't know what its tone was, are it you was trying just to in, go insert laugh here? Yeah, are you well, trying that, to be Deadpool or are you trying to be serious? Like, what are you well, doing here? And that yeah. was, I, I, man, and that was just one of my my my. My my biggest complaints is that I I I I don't even see I I I can't watch a lot of superhero movies and stuff anymore. Right. Because all of a sudden, in the middle of this intense action scene or whatever, people are cracking jokes. In the middle of this intense, mm-hmm. you know, again, Marvel started doing it a lot after Joss Whedon came in, and Joss Whedon executed humor almost flawlessly well in, that's josh whedon's thing i yeah, mean go look josh. at buffy the vampire slayer yeah. and you can see i watched it i watched yeah. Buffy the vampire slayer and i don't know if he was at the helm for angel i think he was at the helm for angel i don't know uh, but. but both of those series were actually really well done um you see character moments you see moments where they kind of crack a joke for not just for humor's sake and it seems like just in this modern day where the the MCU is supposed to be the, just this pantheon of, of 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 movies now we're starting to lose a lot of tone we're starting to lose Oh we are. We're sacrificing wanna, character if, for a joke we're sac- I mean hugely they they sacrificed a couple of characters for jokes at this if, point. If they you want to see that kind of witty sort of um laugh in the face of danger done right go look at Indiana Jones or Nathan Drake. Yeah, yeah. And I not can... not all of them are perfect. No. But the, I'd say 80, 85% yeah. of the time it lands. Because it's totally consistent with the character. 
Drake cracking wise in the middle of a brawl well, is important. Drake. You know, one of the things that really irritated me is we got to, was it the second Expendables where they brought Chuck Norris in? Uh, again. It was are, either, yeah, yeah, I think it was the second Expendables they brought Chuck Norris in. Chuck Norris is cracking a Chuck Norris joke. Only for the sake of doing a Chuck Norris. Because or that the wink nod to the audience. Yeah. Or, or, you know, and, well, and I guess that's what the marvelous humor is. It's, it's a wink nod. It's a, hey guys, here's a joke. Wink. And I'm like, yeah. okay, but I'm not in the movie with you. Yeah. Why are you acknowledging And, and that's, that's why Last Jedi opens up with a knock-knock joke or your mama joke. Or the, it even starts with the, I can't hear you even though I can. How, you know, you know, six pack in, you know, all of a sudden your buddy calls. And it's just like, hey dude, how's it going? And it's just... Uh, you there, dude? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. No, can you hear me? I, I can't hear you. Are you there? We've all done that joke, but yeah. it's done. No, you and I do it on a weekly basis. I know, but and you it, opened a Star Wars bit. You have the Empire, or sorry, the First Order. Oh my bad. Um, <laughs> you know, bearing down on the Rebels. I mean, the Resistance, <laughs> and um, you have Poe leading this almost suicidal charge. And he opens up with uh, the phone's dead joke, and it's an officer on the bridge that has to tell Hux. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And then it's, I think it turns into a Yo Mama joke or something after that. Yeah. And it's just like, no. Or like, um, you know, when uh, Snoke has got Rey and Kylo in the uh, throne room and he's doing all this, you know, crazy force stuff. And finally, you know, it just, the wise just whaps Rey on the back of the head. This is supposed to be your Death Star scene. This is when the Emperor has Luke on the Death Star. Yeah. And there was no humor there. That was a very serious moment. Luke was in mortal peril. You had both Vader and the Emperor. Yeah. And Luke was not willing to fight because he was trying to turn his father back. Very serious moment. But here's, you know, the Emperor, Snoke. You know, same scene, throne room, trying to turn her to the dark side. And you played off for a laugh by having the thing whap her in the back of the head. Am I supposed to be laughing or am I supposed to be worried here? Because that makes me think I shouldn't be worried. Well, and seeing that's kind of one of those... One of those yeah. that's, that's part of the reason I kind of... I, I kind of because I, I look at the, the 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 second Deadpool movie because there were a lot of things that were happening in the second Deadpool movie that were just they were so ridiculous again. that nothing could be taken seriously. Well, again, and, and I and, and, I'd I, argue, but, I'd and what I'm saying is I think the whole movie was just a marvelous humor joke. I think the been. whole freaking movie was because <laughs> De- I mean, Deadpool 1 was great. Well, that, and That would also be a very Deadpool move to do, to make yeah. a whole movie to make one joke. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe it was brilliant and I just, I'm too stupid to recognize it. But That's the problem with Deadpool is he's so meta that sometimes it's hard to suss out what exactly they're going for. Um, and honestly, I just, I think Ryan Reynolds is such perfect casting. I yeah, mean, no, yeah. He's, he's good. Uh, but no, and I, I'd argue that's a issue of a sequel trying to outdo its predecessor more than an infection of this tone breaking humor. Was it impossible to take things seriously in the second Deadpool? Often, but I didn't take the first one that seriously either. So it's no, and I mean, I'm sorry sense. that that scene at the end of the first Deadpool where, you know, his girlfriend lifts up the Deadpool mask and there's the a magazine cut out of Hugh Jackman. No, and that's... I, they do that kind of stuff all the time. And well, so maybe I just don't find no. it my, my, I, the same. I, I, I'm just... I'm, I'm so... I think it's probably it's it's probably part of the reason why uh, uh, Joker did so well. Well, because it knew its tone. Um, yeah, there, there was not. That's, that's one I definitely need to go. There see was I. Movie. Well, and here's the thing: is if there was humor in that movie, I don't remember it. <laughs> All right, then. and the humor that was in there was insanely dark after hugely tense moments. So you kind of like, you kind of like didn't want to laugh. You were kind of like, eh. well, isn't that you know, you know the Joker's pulled that move. Before, too. I mean, his introduction in The Dark Knight. You want to see a magic trick? Yeah. Well, boom! Ta-da! And you're just like, that was a joke, but that is so insanely dark that you're not laughing, you're creeped out. Yeah. And that is, you know, he just murdered a man by into a pencil. Like, that's dark. Yeah. But it's in character. That's not a moment of levity. That shows that this guy has a screw loose or ten. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um... You know, and again, that is a moment that is very well executed. Whereas um, you look at anything else with the villain, the villain will oftentimes be just as comedic as the people that are supposed to be. When I can't tell the smart-ass Spider-Man from the villain, I have a, I have a problem. Yeah, yeah, and I will say this: I'm not going to speak on the Spider-Man movies because I, I, I haven't again, seen I, the newest. Ones. I bailed out. I bailed out of a lot of them. Um, 
I... I'll get shredded for this. I didn't like... I didn't like the, the massively over-the-top, always quippy Tom Holland Spider-Man. A lot of people love him. A lot of people think he's great. But it's but that Spider-Man's Marvel quippy, and I'm like, yeah, but... And Spider-Man but, was quippy. But he and also you know, knew, what, he also knew there were, when there and were, where. Well, no, but there's a lot of things, is like with, with especially with Spider-Man, one thing that you know is he cracks jokes when he's in the middle of a fight because he believes that it's a way to keep people... You, they, they can't focus. They're like, why is this guy cracking jokes? And mm -hmm. so they can never really get on on their, you know, on their game fully because yeah. they're like, this but, guy's cracking jokes and it's pissing him off. And that, and that, was, that, that, so that ties into tactic. The, that ties tactic. into the Drake but, thing I've been talking, yeah. I talked about earlier too. Is But you know, when all of a sudden is, there's this out of, out of left field in, in uh, um, Infinity War, there's this, this out of left field like Aliens reference. And you're like, what? It, it's, it, and you're, and I'm like, he's like, no, I'm saying like, you know, like the, you know, people are coming or whatever. And we're like, what the hostels are getting restless? No, no, or the natives. No, no, oh, don't oh. worry about it. it, it yeah. But there's just, it's just insert joke here because we haven't had a joke in the last 30 or 40 seconds. And I'm just going to be honest. I hope movies move past that. Every mm -hmm. movie has to have moments of humor, but I'm tired of this humor. Yeah. Well, that is the timer. And, um, didn't quite wrap that up. Uh, we just sat here and ranted for a while. I just but maintain, tired of your, it. I'm just ma maintain tired. the tone of your characters, writers. Don't sacrifice the gravitas of a situation for the sake of a cheap joke. It's pretty much all I have to say about it, and it's getting annoying. It is. It's making me not want to watch movies anymore. I, it, it, it really is. Unless I'm like, I watched The Joker because, again, it, anyway. All right. Yep. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and stick around to the end of this video to find out how you guys can support the channel a little better. And we do appreciate you guys sticking around this long. We will see you on the next one. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. We hope you enjoyed the discussion as much as we did. I know we've been having these for a long time just between the two of us. If you did enjoy this content and you want to see more like it, please share this with all your friends and we'd love to hear your own opinions down in the comments. Agree, disagree, we want to hear it either way. If you do want to support this channel and we'd greatly appreciate it, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification for every time we go live. Hope to see you guys next time on A Drink With Crazy. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.